I'm Greg Picker here for Islanders Insider alongside Islanders defenseman Dylan Reese here in front of the Console Energy Center, the site of the 2012 NHL Entry Draft. Today, the day before the draft begins, we're going to give you a bit of a tour around the town, Pittsburgh. It's Dylan's hometown. Dylan, thanks for joining us here. Absolutely. It's a pleasure. I'm uh, excited to show off my city here and debunk some of the myths that I've gotten from guys that Pittsburgh's an old, beat-up city with bad weather. Um, as you can see, we've got beautiful weather, brand new hockey building, and uh, we've got a great city here in Pittsburgh. Stay tuned. We'll give you a tour of the town, some of the great sites that you don't want to miss if you ever come here to Pittsburgh. Here we are at the site of the old Mellon Arena, formerly known as the Civic Center, the old home of the Pittsburgh Penguins from their inception in 1967 until just two years ago. And some great memories for you growing up as a Penguins fan here. Absolutely, Greg. I mean, this is where I watched my pro hockey as a kid. Yeah, I uh, saw so many incredible games. The building itself, the atmosphere was unbelievable. Uh, the sound carried. It actually reminds me a lot of the old Coliseum and, you know, with the small hallways and, and just really rowdy fans. Um, you know, I had a chance to shoot here as a Pee Wee in between periods when they had the young kids go out, that was a fond memory for me. And, and oddly enough, maybe my, my the most favorite memory I have of this place was the game actually that the Islanders came back game 7, 93 and, uh, and beat the Penguins in overtime. And that was the year the Penguins, uh, I believe, were the President's Trophy winner. They said it was the best team they had of the three years. The two previous, they won the Stanley Cup. They said it was the best team they had and uh, it was a great game. The Penguins came back late to tie it and then the Islanders scored it. David Ball scored in overtime to win it. One particular memory for you was getting to play here before it finally closed. Yeah, I was really lucky. Uh, it was my first year, first chance in the NHL, playing under Scott Gordon two years ago, and uh, actually three years ago. And I was lucky enough to play in the last game here in Mellon Arena, the last regular season game, where they hoisted some banners and they uh, you know, had a, a big ceremony about the closing of the rink. So it was very special to be the last Pittsburgh player to play in it, and a um, uh, big exciting moment for me. All right, that does it for us from Mellon Arena, but now we're going to take a look at some other sites of Pittsburgh. Well, we just rode the Duquesne Incline, 794 feet to the summit of Mount Washington, and now we got such a beautiful view of the downtown Pittsburgh skyline. Yeah, it does a really good job. I mean, like you said, it's a beautiful view. And, uh, you know, starting west, we, we had the brand new Rivers Casino, which brought gambling to the city for whether it's good or bad. I, you know, there's a lot of, lot of stir and commotion about it. And then here's the Heinz Field where the Steelers play. I think Heinz Field and PNC Park in the distance are probably about 10 years old now. I can't remember, but it, it seem, seems like Park. yesterday. But, you know, they're both built around the same time. Um, right there in the middle where the Allegheny and Monongahela's meet to form the Ohio, you have the point, which is usually a beautiful fountain. It's a park area where they host uh, arts festivals, things like that. And they're also uh, the outlines of Fort Duquesne and Fort Pitt, which were forts during the uh, Revolutionary War. All right, so a great view from up here. And we'll take a look right down there at PNC Park shortly. Here we are on the Roberto Clemente Bridge just outside PNC Park. It opened in 2001. It hasn't been the greatest baseball on the field since it opened, but without a doubt, one of the most beautiful parks in America. Yeah, you said it. They've had about 20 consecutive losing seasons, so the, the, the field, the, the team on the field hasn't been great, but it really is a beautiful park, one of the best in the league, and it's got a beautiful view of the city, and uh, inside itself is just awesome. I mean, the entertainment's great. It's a good, good bargain uh, for families to come out and watch a game, and when the team's playing well like they have been lately, a couple games over 500, they, they really draw well, and People are excited for, for good sports in the city. That does it for us from PNC Park. Now we're going to go check out the place to eat in Pittsburgh. Here we are outside the world famous Permani Brothers restaurant and they've got sandwiches that you will not want to miss here. Yeah, it's a famous sandwich shop, coleslaw and fries on the sandwich, good variety. It's about 17 around the city and uh, it's, it's one hell of a sandwich so I'm, I'm eager to see what you boys think of it. Alright, let's go take a bite.
All right, we took a tour around the town, visited a couple of uh, arenas, went up the incline, took a nice look at the overview of Pittsburgh itself, hit up PNC Park, and now we're fishing off with a great sandwich here at Permani Brothers. Now, let's take a bite. I'm excited about this. I just want Sean, our strength coach, to know that this isn't part of the diet. These guys forced me into it, you know, so I don't want Snowy to think this is what I'm eating all the time. Let's have at it. <laughs> Nothing but deliciousness, right? That's what, a good scent. What I tell you? What I tell you? Thanks for joining us here on Islanders Insider.